Hiya, welcome back. As you'll have probably seen, I've done two short videos over the last couple of weeks um, covering different adapters for the new camera gear that I've had as I'm trying to get um, all my equipment into line and know which lenders will work with which cameras uh, efficiently and which ones not to bother with uh, and hopefully have a good all-round system uh, which I can share between um, two camera uh, manufacturers one being Nikon one being Sony I started off by getting the um, Z7 II the other week and along with it came the FTZ adapter which will take all my F mount lenses uh, over to the Z mount and if you look at my video that I did um, last week uh, you'll see that it's very very effective and works well um, with the F mount lenses quite pleased with that then I went on to the TZ E01, uh, which is in another video, with all the electronic contacts, and this will take um, your um, Nikon Z mount uh, to allow it to have um, the Sony lenses working on it. Uh, on there, the lens I haven't got at the moment is just a, a walk around like wildlife lens, which is like a 200 to 600. So the Sony uh, G lens uh, I've used with this and had very very good results as I said you can see those in the videos that I've done all the short lenses work absolutely perfect with that the Sony lenses but I've got all the f.2.8 um, Nikon Pro glass as well so they're not really um, they don't come into play there it's just the longer lenses I wanted on this one and then yesterday I got the Viltrox NF E1 and there's some good and some bad reports about these but one thing i will say is this is the newer version i know there's an older version i know there's a manual version so i bought this on amazon and thought well if it's not right it would have to go back but the results have been very good so how has the viltrox performed with the lenses uh, that i put on the camera uh, yesterday and today um, good quality lenses throughout i've used the 1424 the 2470 the 70 to 200. I've used primes at the bottom end of that, and then I've gone up to the 302.8. Um, again, the bottom end, prime lenses and short lenses, they're doing absolutely fantastic. Very quick, very quick to focus. Also focusing in lower lights than what you'd expect, so I was pleased with that as well. But I've been using the, um, the aperture priority and the shutter priority, and I've been compensating with that as well. And I've also set my SO auto ISO levels, minimums and maximums. So I'm governing the, um, you know, the, the way I want to take the photographs. So when I got up to the 300 prime, this lens tells all, as I've said before, in one of the other uh, videos I did, because it's absolutely fantastic. It's spot on, it's very sharp. It's very fast to focus, the fastest lens I've got. But again, this tended to search and it was, struggling a little bit at times. What I tended to do sometimes was just manually focus it in, get near the subject, and once I'd done that, it snapped on and that was it. But that's not all the time, that's just if I'd got a problem. Or as I've heard people say before, take your finger off and just refocus. It's not gonna be a sports um, connection, this Viltrox, with the 300 2A if you're wanting to shoot with that on a Sony. Like I say, this was on the A7 III, which is not the fastest. I've not even put it on the A9. I'm not really interested in using it as a fast lens where I would do on the Nikon bodies and even with the FTZ adapter on the Z series because it's, it's fully effective. Um, but I used it today more or less in hide situations, wildlife, birds, uh, things I was just gonna photograph that were static and it was absolutely spot on. And I've got some lovely shots and the particular one behind me, I don't really like birds on bird feeders, um, but I wasn't bothered today because it was testing. And that shot, when you see it um, later on in this little slideshow, you'll see how sharp it is. Very, very pleased with it. So overall, if you're not looking at it, you know, don't get me wrong, don't, don't try and buy this and be a sports photographer by using, you know, other lenses on your body because these adapters do slow things down. I think they're an alternative. And if you do what I've done and gone through all the testing, you will actually have um, either a written or a mental record of what adapter works with which lenses. And obviously um, with my Nikon, um, I've got the FTZ for the mirrorless. 
But other than that, I wouldn't need to change those because I've got all the range of the Pro Glass. Whereas on the Sony, I haven't. And that's why the 3028 comes in lovely. And also, I don't have a 150 or a to 600 or 200 to 600 for the Nikon. And I don't really want to go out and buy one of those. So I'm prepared to use the 200 to 600 off the Sony with the adapter on the Nikon. Um, but not use it as a sports lens or birds in flight, etc. Anyway, enough talking. Have a look at these shots um, and it'll be nice to get some feedback. Uh, it's only the third video I've done and I intend to do some more if they're liked. Uh, I think it's been a good learning path for me for definite uh, and it'll stop me wasting time in future. I'm now set and know how to go out and which lenses will work. I know the Nikon is, is pretty straightforward through everything. Um, but I'm looking forward to going out and putting some more images up where uh, all this testing then has, uh, has been worthwhile. Please, if you like what I've done, either like or subscribe, ring the bell, you know, and, uh, and come back and have a look at it. If you've not seen the other two videos, just look at my stream. And obviously there's the FTZ adapter and there's a TZE01 adapter, which is tiny and thin and it's a cracking, cracking piece of equipment. They're not super cheap, these, but if you pay cheap, then you're not gonna get the results. So have a look at the uh, videos. I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you again. Thank you very much. Bye. Starting with a nice image of my dog on the 24 to 70 at 5.6. Lovely selected depth of field and a nice golden glow. Moving on to the 70 to 200. That's Kerry there with our other puppy and uh, Kerry a little bit sharper. This is really, really nice. This is the blue tip shot on the 300 mil 2.8 wide open, 800 shutter speed, banging. This is the 1424 uh, 2.8 lens shot at f8 here, um, giving good rendition throughout, good depth of field, and also the same here, the couple just a little bit softer as they're walking through. Nice set of images, I think you'll agree.